Are we filming? Yes, we are. So this is a review. Welcome, welcome. This is a review of my Firefax Mini Kensington. Now, it's not my colour, but um, if you watch till the end, you'll you'll know why I acquired this Kensington and what I'm going to do with it. But uh, I'm working from. Uh, bullet points in my Guildford Mini Extra Slim, for which uh, it is well suited. Um, first of all, flattability. Now that's that's obviously the most important thing. Anyway, so uh, let's let's give it a go. It's uh, it's hampered a little bit. Flattability is hampered for any binder that has this this full width pocket at the back, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but it, this isn't a binder that is likely to be used for copious amounts of writing. It might be used as a wallet or a purse. Uh, and to be honest, I've seen a lot worse. Uh, the the thing about these these uh, sizes of Filofax is that if if this leather was used, if this leather was used in an A4 Filofax, it would have perfect flattability. If this leather was used in an A5 binder, it would have pretty good flattability. If it was a Kensington in personal size, such as this one, then it would have even better flattability. Perfect, I would say. Um, uh, but then, once you get down to pocket size, and this is another Kensington, it's uh, it's it's starting to have problems because of the, the 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 rear pocket as you can see the personal size doesn't have a rear pocket uh but the pocket size and the uh and the and the mini size do have this this rear pocket which which makes it slightly tricky but not not unduly so i mean it can still be used and i i've seen a lot worse although Personally, the fact that um, my Guildford Mini Extra Slim doesn't have a rear pocket like this means that the, the flattability is superb, and that's one of the reasons why that is, in, well, I believe, one of the best uh, file effects is ever made. Uh, if you compare it to another uh, mini-sized file effects with a rear pocket, this is a Portland. This is the best I've found where you do have the back pocket, the full width back pocket, but also having good flattability. So that that's that's obviously down to the construction and the design and the, and the choice of leather. But that one is really really good. Um, the Kensington here, not so good, but do you know what? It's it's okay. It's okay. And for many people, the, the flattability would not be on their agenda. Um, if it's if it's being used for uh, purposes for which flattability isn't such a design requirement. Anyway, I'm, I've spent too long talking about flattability now. So um, next next topic. I've got a, I've lost my point here. Um, okay, so the features the features of this binder. Well, apart from the the full width pocket, it has these three card slots. Now I like the way these are designed because um, if you if you compare, I'll give you an example. Let me just uh, let me just take out my paperwork so that you can't see what I've got written. So this is a Portland, and you have these three pockets but they are they 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 are layered on top of each other so that it does make it if you have a piece of paper so let's get a piece of paper and just put it i'm just going to put it in the rings uh you can tell i'm not very organized uh, with this but if you want to write on there you, you've got you can feel the ridge there ridge there ridge there so um that's perhaps not such a good design if you want to write but let's just put this in let's just put this same bit of paper in the kensington now because there's no ridge there because these are these are flush fitting 
you could actually write on there. Not, it's not perfect, but it's a lot easier. So I really like that as a, a design feature in the Kensington three card slots, but they have this, they have this flush fitting that makes it, um, a little bit more awkward to insert a card, um, but certainly easier to write on if, if that's something that you want to do. Um, one full width pocket, which isn't gusseted, but it's not too tight. You know, you could get, get things in there. And then something that uh, I quite like is this gusseted gusseted zip pocket and the gusset is quite generous let me just uh it would help if i zip it the other way so i can open it but not bad not bad and so if you're using this as a wallet you could have um you could have some coins in there it's quite generous and the zip is very very good quality or appears to be um and uh and, and one of the one of the things now I, I'm digressing here, I know, but uh, I'm in, in the habit of doing that. One of the things I like about this type of zip is the fact that the zip, uh, the zip dock, if you like, the where you park the zip when it's closed is up here, well out of the way of the palm of your hand or your wrist, depending on how you're, how you're writing. The last thing you want is that, that zip ends being down here when it's closed so that it will bump on your little finger or the, the 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 palm of your hand or you know so why do i mention that why do i mention that it's because recently uh, uh, as an example as i as i understand it from the photographs the zip is parked down here and it's it's actually on this side okay but if you are a left-hander using a, 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 the latest Norfolk model, that is a, I believe that that is a design flaw. Why would the zip be drawn down to close is, instead of doing going up? Especially if you've got things in the pocket which might fall out. I don't know, some tickets or some coins or whatever. Um, you Ideally, by tradition, the zip closes by going up not pulling it down um so anyway i'm back on back on the the final facts kensington here so it's got this zip and the 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 quality i mean i don't know i i whenever i acquire a, a file facts i just don't know how it's been treated how it's stood up to the the, the general vaga vagaries of um of of use it might this might have been stuck in a drawer for most of the last quarter century or it could have been in daily use what i can say what i can say about the um about the kensington is the leather does seem to be the, the choice of leather seems to be the same on every size of every model and every size of model so this leather is used on uh the personal size it's also used on the pocket size and Although I've never had a Kensington from you, what I can say is this. This leather, I really, I highly rate because I use this pocket Kensington for a good three years every single day as my EDC before I moved to an M2 and then subsequently from an M2 to a uh, this particular um, Portland's. And then after that, I... I ended up with my uh, Guildford Mini Extra Slim. So, uh, the, the re why did I get? Why did I stop using this as an EDC? Well, look, look at the size. Look at the size of it. It's it's just so much bigger, and this does not fit easily into a pair of jeans, a jeans pocket. But what I can say is the if you look at the wear and tear. On the inside and the wear and tear on the outside, there is some some fraying of the the stitching, uh, but it's it it's almost as good now as the day it was made a quarter of a century ago, and and 
not with notwithstanding what other people have done with this uh, i know for a fact because i was the owner of it and used it for i think maybe three years possibly four uh it, it was in hard use every single day the sort of hard use that turns a perfectly good uh fantastic um Farfax, uh guildford mini extra slim with uh with luxury leather into something that's uh not very appealing at all so same so, and this and this leather started peeling within a month of uh, get, well maybe a fortnight of getting it and I bought it when it was in brand new condition almost so I would say from from a toughness point of view the toughness of the leather um, this Kensington range is very very exceptional in fact i've actually jotted it down because uh, it caught my eye and i think this is very very appropriate in the 2000s catalog the file of Hats catalog it says and i, I and, and i think this is right uh, and it, it, it's describing their binders as beautifully stitched and made to the highest standards using quality materials and i i think that that's correct in fact when they did their their colour picture showing all the range, do you know what they chose to feature on that range? So one mini, one pocket, one personal. They chose the mini, um, the mini Kensington in this colour. Um, so excellent stitching, excellent quality, and uh, other features on it. Well, uh, eleven millimeter rings. Um, these uh, obviously i can't vouch for how this was used but the rings feel absolutely perfect they're crisp and tight and they snap open and shut cleanly very very good quality i'm not going to bang on about modern ones but all i'm saying is what i can say is this is an exceptionally good quality binder with a capital e and a capital g <laughs> um uh, finally, we've got another full-length pocket on that side. So, a, a small, small but capacious and very able. Um, and another thing I really like about this is the fact that we have, and I'm, uh, and uh, regular viewers will know I bang on about the the, the pen loop, where uh, many far, many more recent binders have been made out of a thinner piece of leather that's been folded over so there's a ridge inside and so if you put this isn't a file of hats pen but you can see that this is a lamy fountain pen a snub nosed uh, fountain pen which would have it's exactly the same size as a standard file of hats pen and yet this will not fit in certain binders with with what i call the dreaded fold over Whereas a, a, a where it would snag inside where the leather has been folded over, whereas a single piece of chunkier leather like this has no problem at all. So, another advantage for another plus point, if you like, whoops, for the Kensington model. Um, nice very very nice and these models they don't see there doesn't seem to be a problem with the with the plastic popper cap becoming detached i've never seen one that that is missing i mean i do i do bang on about how wonderful vintage filofaxes are but a lot of them they lose the prim popper cover here um i don't know i don't know it might be worth let me have a i haven't got my microscope you really need a microscope sometimes with my eyesight but let me just check okay it all it does it's 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 a it's a um an own brands sort of thing i mean i assume they're contracted out i don't know who makes them but it's got file effects written round the, the popper mechanism and on the top it's quite a natty embossed file effects logo round the round the popper and these poppers tend to be um, the same colour as the actual leather. So brown leather, brown popper, uh, black, black.
black leather, black popper. So nice, nice. Um, so I, uh, I, need, I need to refer. <laughs> I need to refer to my bullet points because because I'm, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. Um, so features, condition. Okay, condition. Well, we we we've been touching on that, haven't we? Um, this one uh, has somewhere. I don't know whether you could. Yes, you, yes, you can see. There's a there's a mark there, the, where the leather has been worn, and there. And similarly to my other binders, uh, they all seem to have a little bit of uh, fraying of the threads where they where they're uh, typically on the corners. Um, this one has a. Uh, this one has possibly. Ah, there we go. You can see a line, an indentation in the leather, where it's maybe uh, something heavy has been put on it, and uh, uh, for a long period of time, maybe that will come out at some point through regular use. Uh, it's it it smells okay. It's uh, you know it's um, it's not been exposed to damp or anything. Uh, what I would say is. Um, can you see along the top there? There is a little bit of discoloration and, and a small amount of wear um, to the leather um, at the top, and then uh, along here. So this this, and then under the bottom, it's uh, it's very very similar. So this has been this has been used as a Farfax, um, probably been used quite a lot, and and I I say that with some some uh, confidence simply because i know i know that the file of hats kensington model can stand up to daily use getting it in and out of a pocket or a bag several times a day for several years and it will still stand the test of time because my one my own personal pocket uh pocket uh kensington has exactly the same wear um, signs along the top and bottom edge of the file of hats exactly the same fraying the construction is the construction is identical with with what appears to be identical leather um, but as I say um, this this was uh, this this was introduced in 2000 uh, a year after the um, a year after the Kensington model was introduced, they they in, in 1999 they then introduced this, as I understand it from what I've what I've uh, what I've read and seen. This came out in 2000. Um, it only lasted two or three years before they dropped it. Don't know why, because uh, it's such a fantastic model. Um, other models uh, around the same time, like the Finsbury, are still around now. You know, they've been going for. 25 years but um i'm not i'm not so keen on the finsbury i i i have got a finsbury here where it's it's not really great is it it's the, the leather seems to be like a very very thin leather that's glued onto a man-made substrate and it's not really cap doesn't or certainly this model doesn't appear to have um uh, lasted uh, in the same way i mean this is this might be uh, newer than this one, and yet look at the difference. Finsbury, lots of wear, lots of visible wear. Anyway, I mean it's still functional. I mean it, it you know, it might still be around in a hundred years' time, but the Kensington gets my vote because it does for the the quality of the leather and the construction. Uh, it is it is excellent. It's an excellent working tool, and um, I like to mention the working tool thing if I can as regularly as I can because I see these as not uh, things of beauty um, they are working tools but if you've got a choice between a working tool that looks good and a working tool that looks a bit naff well you're going to have the the working tool that looks good aren't you and and I would say the Kensington is very very much in that vein it, it looks good feels good in the hand and it is very much potentially a working tool because it can demonstrably stand up to regular daily repeated use without without falling apart without this leather coming peeling and 
this is an important thing because particularly where you've got the uh, rings that are unprotected, you have these marks on the leather. You can see that. And <coughs> some some models in the past have had uh, have leather flaps to protect uh, the, 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 the rest of the binder from these markings. I, I don't see an issue with it at all. Um, but you're obviously going to get wear here. And so there are there are binders that where the there's very very little wear from the cracking of the leather in particular, and there are other binders like, for instance, um, my Guildford Mini Extra Slim that that don't seem to have the same uh, ability to. Uh, to resist cracking even though this is described as deluxe leather i'm always surprised at that and so i mention it quite a lot don't i um okay so uh let me show you something else that i think is interesting about this so i have got i have got four leather filofaxes in mini size here all from the same sort of era. So, uh, the Portlands might be 1998. This is possibly between 2000 and 2002. Um, the Guildford Mini Extra Slim is from, I believe, 2007. Uh, the Executive uh, Mini, the Mini Executive is around about 2003, 2002, 2003, I believe. So, all around that era. Um, and um, they are uh, they are all different sizes. You, you'd be surprised, but if I just put the okay, so here's a here's here's a um, a comparison between the Portlands and the Kensington, and you can clearly see I've got them lined up at the bottom here. You can clearly see that the Portland is 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 not as tall as the Kensington, and if I Put them the other way so that they are say are next to each other that's probably a better way of doing it isn't it so if i mark them like this so you can see um the kensington is considerably wider as well and that that difference is um that difference is is, is uh quite marked with all these i mean you know you you think that they might all be but uh, the same. I mean, they're similar, but they're different. Um, the executive is the tallest one I have. Remember that the the Kensington is a little bit a little bit taller than the Portland, uh, but the executive slimline, the mini executive slimline, is is taller still. Um, but uh, smallest of all is obviously um, because it's. Uh, it's extra slim. The, the Guildford Mini Extra Slim is the smallest of all. And I. this is one of the reasons why I like this so much, because it really does fit in a pocket. And you don't have... You don't have this issue with the pen loop and the, uh, the strap, uh, which can be exacerbated if you have... If you're using the pen loop uh, to... to 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 use a pen, although um, if you look at my um, if you look at uh, my recent video about uh, pen loop modification, which I did a few days ago, you'll see that I really really go a bundle on that. I love that um, for its purpose, for its intended purpose. So um, I've, I've, let me uh, let me find my bullet points again. Right, um, uh, so. Uh, here we come to the, the the point where I asked you to hold that thought. Now, the reason I bought this was not because I'm in love with the colour. Uh, red, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I've got here. I have. I've got an orange domino, which many people will think, well, that's not his colour either. But it's one of the binders that I've bought which won't leave the house, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, it could be pink with purple spots. It doesn't really matter to me if it doesn't leave the house. But um, mini-sized binders do leave the house because I use them as EDCs, although 
although it's mainly my um uh it's main, mainly my uh Guildford Mini Extra Slim that comes with me but I do I do regularly take my my Portland Mini which I'm using effectively as a as an input device, an inbox, if you like. Um, but I'm not likely to be carrying a bright red mini Kensington with me. It is it's just not my colour. Um, the reason I bought this was just to do a review to find out about. I was curious about the flattability, curious about. Uh, I wanted to confirm that the, the, the quality of construction and the use of materials was equally as good as other Portlands, other other Kensingtons that I have. And I have a few, Kens I think I've got about half a dozen Kensingtons of different sizes. Um, but um, I'm waffling now, but here we are. This is, is, is going to be the subject to my first giveaway. Um, how am I going to do this? How am I going to pick someone at random to post this to, uh, and, I'll, and I'll pay the postage, and and so you will you will receive completely free of charge. Um, this Kensington Mini Filofax. Um, this is how I'm going to do it. So there's three things you've got to do. First of all, uh, you have to be a subscriber. I think that's fair enough. Um, you've got to be in it to win it. So. Make sure you're a subscriber. Second thing, if you're not living in the UK, make sure you quickly move to the UK because this is I'm only going to be sending this to someone with a UK address. But obviously, if you have friends in the UK and you can get it get it sent to them and you live abroad, uh, then they they you can you can specify that address and then uh, and then uh, that they can worry about shipping it to you or holding it until you next visit them so so first rule is you've got to be a subscriber second rule is you've got to have a uk address and thirdly um to make sure that the software that are that i use to pick at complete random who's going to who's going to receive this in uh it very very soon maybe a month's time uh they need to uh, leave a comment with the word Kensington. Make sure you get the spelling right um, in in the in the comments for this video. And then uh, in about a month's time, I'll run the software, which will pick out a um, which will pick out a uh, um, a winner, if you like. Um, and then uh, and then we can uh, contact each other. Uh, don't. Don't put your address in the comments or anything like that. We'll 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 sort something out. Probably a private message on my uh, flattability uh, Facebook page. You can you can uh, you can do a private message and uh, make yourself known to me, and I will get this to you as soon as possible. And I'll probably do that in about a month's time to give people plenty of time to uh, think about whether or not they uh, would like me to send this to them. Uh, I, I'm, I think it's a bit of fun. Um, I've been thinking of doing this for, uh, for a little while. Um, but if I do this, uh, it means that I am, uh, more likely or more disposed to buy a binder for review that isn't my colour. Up until now, I've, uh, I've restricted, uh, reviews to, binders of my colour so that I can keep them in my collection. But I specifically bought this without without any uh, worries about the, the colour because I knew that I would uh, receive it, review it and give it away. And that's what I'm going to do. Hope that finds favour with you. And uh, I think I've spoken enough. It's 30 minutes now for review, probably the longest review, but it's uh, there's also various aspects that aren't in a normal review to cover as well. So, um, without further ado, f shall, we, shall we start again? I'm inclined to do that. Without further ado, thank you for watching. And if you're going to, if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And if you're planning on subscribing, uh, to be in a chance of, uh, getting this binder through your letterbox, then, uh, then thank you for considering that. 
as an option. And until uh, next the next video, goodbye.